Now to an iTeam exclusive tonight. We're getting a look at shocking video of an accessory driver beating up his own disabled passenger. And what might be more shocking, the victim says she's not been able to press charges. As News Force Chris Glorioso reports, the MTA has ordered the driver terminated, but he could still be on the road. I mean, I thought I was going to die that day. Brooklyn's Keisha Jones says she cannot shake the memory of a sidewalk beating that was caught on camera. I saw the devil in that man. Once he got started, he couldn't stop. She's a stroke victim who has trouble Accessoride, the MTA's paratransit service to get around. You may know Accessoride by its signature white and blue minibuses, but more than two thirds of the trips are now contracted out with smaller broker car services. Back on November 1st, Keisha says she booked an Accessoride trip with one of those brokers, a 330 pickup. But just minutes into the trip, she and the driver began arguing. But he's on the phone. <laughs> they started arguing, man. Salute to Honky Kong, man. He says, I have to apologize to, to the entire Sun community. My dog made eye contact with the brother in traffic and triggered some generational trauma. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, man, but just like them dogs used to chase us when we ran away from the plantation, man. You gotta understand, man. That's some compassion, man. Keisha says she booked an accessoride trip with one of those brokers, a 330 pickup. But just minutes into the trip, she and the driver began arguing. But he's on the phone and he's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. So I said, no, you shut up. <laughs> what happened? But just minutes into the trip, she and the driver began arguing. But he's on the phone and he's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. So I said, no, you shut up. I probably shouldn't have said that. But if he was telling you to shut up, you tell him to shut up. That was my reflex. Keisha thought the angry exchange was over when she got out of the van. But this. <laughs> oh, man. That's a that's a sand man. This is definitely a sand man, man. Sand man. This is sand man. <laughs> we just did this. What was that about a month ago? The sand man dragged the sister out to carry out at the corner store by her braids and threw her in the street in front of a bunch of niggas and they ain't do shit. It's a sand man, man. Reflex. Keisha thought the angry exchange was over when she got out of the van. But this video, provided by her attorney, shows the driver wasn't done. He gets out of the vehicle, approaches her, and starts kicking and grappling with the disabled passenger. The I-team asked the head of Accessoride. Do you think this driver should be arrested? Uh, I can't speak for the law on this case here. Um, I was horrified. Shout out to the tiger. The tiger says she that tiger still mad about all them attacks, man. Y'all be attacking tigers all the time. He like, shit, I don't know. That tiger said no snitching, man. Shout out to the tiger, man. Tiger like, shit, I don't know, man. Shit. I ain't see the tape yet. The I-team asked the head of Accessoride. Do you think this driver should be arrested? Uh, I can't speak for the law on this case here. Um, I was horrified at what I saw. I mean, and that is not customer service. That is the opposite of customer service. Chris Pangolinen is the MTA's VP of paratransit. He said the MTA knows the driver's identity and ordered him terminated from the broker service that dispatched him. But Keisha says more than a month after the attack, she was still in the dark about the kicking <laughs> He was kicking her in the ass. That was smart, man. Just keep kicking her in the ass so she won't bruise, man. So she can't tell the cops. So when the police comes, he be like, I just got beat up. They be like, let me see your face. Like, girl, you ain't get beat up, man. Get out of here, man. In fact, we going to arrest you for filing a false complaint, man. Touche, sand man. I got, I got. I got money that this is a sand man, man. White guy ain't gonna do this to no black woman in public. And on Brito, I don't even know if an on Brito would do this to a black woman in public. Only a sand man got enough balls to do that to a black woman in public. 
and of course the sun man but i mean I, the, the only non sun men that that will do some shit like this on the job like on the clock that's sad bad behavior man driver's identity this man plundered me kept kicking me like a dog the driver's face is blurry in the video and when keisha went to the nypd she says she was unable to pick him out of a lineup but she expected the driver's information would have been stored on her Accessoride app. It wasn't. Instead, it says no vehicle information available. Basic technology, a GPS, knowing who your driver is. Nicholas Liakis is Keisha's attorney. He says the MTA should follow the lead of Nicholas Liakis, a.k.a. Juice Crew. Listen, I will tell you this. The hell with fishermen, man. If you ever catch a case, man, you better walk into that courtroom with a juice crew. I always did when I could. When I could afford it. When I could afford it. Shout out to John's Whirling, man. And um Joel Finkelstein, man. Those two of my lawyers I had in the past. I had a black lawyer a couple times. The black lawyers that I had were phenomenal. But the big cases, man. <laughs> the big cases, man. You gonna walk into the courtroom with a with a you wanna walk into the courtroom with a goddamn um you wanna walk into the courtroom with a motherfucking um juice crew, man. Trust me, man technology a gps knowing who your driver is nicholas yeah. liakis is keisha's a greek juice crew you know greek is a country man greek is a country right you can be greek and juice crew man yes knowing who your driver is nicholas liakis is keisha's attorney he says the mta should follow the lead of other rideshare apps and keep records right on your phone Everything is tracked at this point. You know, you, you order an Uber, you order a, a ride share, you, uh, you order a, a dinner, it's tracked. Uh, what the car looks like, you know what the driver looks like in many circumstances, you have a photo. The MTA says trip details like GPS routes, driver names and vehicle descriptions are available in real time, but they're not stored within the app's trip history. Upon request, the MTA provides that information to customers, but so far, Keisha has been unable to get it. This isn't the first time the MTA has been criticized for lax monitoring of accessoride drivers, especially private brokers. Seven years ago, the city controller released this audit, finding the MTA's paratransit division failed to enforce its own contract requirement that broker cars be equipped with GPS. The brokers are a tremendous benefit. They're uh, smaller vehicles. Uh, for some people, they blend in with the rest of the vehicles, right? So it doesn't look like a big bus dropping you off. The MTA says all broker vehicles are now equipped with GPS, and Keisha has now requested the driver information she needs to press charges. But it's now been a month since this attack. It's clearly he'll do it again. And Keisha wonders if the driver who assaulted her may still be behind the wheel. Though he was fired from Accessoride, he may still be transporting passengers using his... Oh, she followed him, girl. The dude in the red came and broke it up, man. Why you follow him, man? As charges, but it's now been a month since this attack. It's clearly he'll do it again. And Keisha wonders if the driver who assaulted her may still be behind the wheel, though he was fired. Dude in the red, this is a little tiger, man. A little tiger was like, man, get away. Get away, Sandman. Sandman turned around and left. From Accessoride, he may still be transporting passengers using him. his he regular TLC license. The NYPD <laughs> says the case is still open. They need to get this man off the... She probably... who. Press one if you think she slapped him upside the back of the head before she got out the car. Because <laughs> the way he acted, man, it, it, that's that's strange behavior, man. She might have slapped him upside the head and got out or spit on him or something. And then that's all we seeing is the, 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 the reaction. Though he was fired from Accessoride, he may still be transporting passengers using his regular TLC license. The NYPD says the case is still open. 
they need to get this man off the road because he's enraged. Keisha Jones just filed a notice. She intends to sue the MTA for what she says is a failure to monitor accessorized dispatchers and broker drivers. The MTA declined to comment on that legal action. Our interview with the head of accessoride took place before the legal claim was filed. Chris Glorioso, News 4 New York.